some uh, more objective analysis of the situation. Elena Korosteleva joins us. She's a professor of international politics based in Canterbury in England. Good evening to you and thank you for being with us. Nice. Um, what do you see as the consequences of this split, uh, the Crimea breaking away from Ukraine? Well, the consequences, if this were allowed to happen, the consequences would be absolutely severe, not only for Ukraine, but also for the uh, for the uh, post-Soviet space, and it would set precedents um, across the globe. As we know, you know, in Europe there are obviously states that are seeking secession and so on. But um, so far the situation is just so complex that it is very important to try and untangle it and uh, also find um, peaceful solutions at this very moment on time. Because we know that, for example, uh, uh, the proclaim, the declared uh, referendum on secession, it has not been endorsed clearly by the Ukrainian parliament. And Ukrainian parliament is not, uh, a, a, a sort of, it, it is still a very much legitimate body because it re has remained in the same shape and form as it had been uh, when Yanukovych was in power. Elena, Elena, do we believe that the people of Crimea want this to actually happen? Because we are told this is what they want. They feel that they are Russian. But do we believe this or do we think this is something that Vladimir Putin and Russia is orchestrating? Uh, there is clearly a lot of Russian propaganda is currently um, um, at place. And uh, what we know is that um, out of two million people actually residing, living in Crimea, about one million are actually Russian-speaking population, and out of that one million, probably about 10 or 20 percent actually feeling very much pro-Russian, probably also Russian passport holders. So it is not at all, uh, I would say, a large majority of, of the Crimea who would feel absolutely, totally in favor of the union with Russia and uh, uh, for the secession from Ukraine. Um, out of those living there, we also know that there are about 400,000 Ukrainians and also about 300,000 Tatars, native Tatar population. And we know from the history of the Crimea and of Ukraine how actually much Tatars suffered during the Soviet, uh, um, Soviet days. And therefore, I don't think this kind of process, the secession and also vote for the union with Russia would be a solution for Crimea. Elena Korosaleva, thank you very much for joining us and sharing your analysis with us here on France 24.